Um, I'm going to start this uh, re uh, review that's what it is, um, for a, a shout out for Peter Heskiff from Aintree in Liverpool. Um, he's been with me from the uh, right from the beginning, to be fair to the bloke, and um, I think I was sort of like 50 subscribers. I I, for some reason, I remember him. I don't know why I remember the name Heskith, uh, Heskith but um, I do. And uh, I think you were there something like when I was on the 50 subscriber mark. So, um, straighten my camera up. Uh, so, uh, Peter, thank you. I missed him on a shout out uh, on a uh, super chat of the day. So, uh, Peter, thank you very much, mate. Uh, right, uh, you've probably worked out from the title I will be reviewing uh, Mini Stars, Cadbury, Cadbury Mini Stars. Um, I've not seen these advertised or anything like that. I um, was walking around Home Bargains the other day and they were there. As you walk in, on the right hand side they have the special bargains. And um, they were there. Move that out of the way. And uh, I thought, right, I'll pick them up. They were 99p each and um, this is what they are, folks. There you are. For the visually impaired, I'm holding two boxes of uh, mini stars up. One is a white chocolate biscuit with a milky centre and the other is a milk chocolate biscuit with a milky centre. And um, I don't, I've not heard or seen or anything of these. I don't know if they're, uh, they're not suitable for vegetarians. It may contain eggs and nuts. Uh, so uh, there's a fair chance it will probably because it haven't bothered with the clean down properly of the plant. And um, there's not much more to say. They cost me the 99 pence each box. Four packets of six biscuits. Let's tuck in. So this is how you come. The, um, the, the, you roll them out of the box and uh, there is little... What do you want? There's a doodle. You can't have none because it's chocolate mate. I do apologise. And, um, yeah, they come in like little packets, uh, I don't know, what do they look like? Little packets of what? Little packets of something that I can't quite remember. And, um, that's what it is, basically. Then it's just a short, it's some kind of short, let's have a look, see what it is. It's a... Cocoa biscuit with milk filling, uh, topped with, well, in this case, in the box here, it says white chocolate, and um, that's about it, really. It's got wheat flour, sugar, wheat, uh, palm, oil, rapeseed, cocoa butter, uh, and all that kind of thing. Yeah, it's just, uh, so that's what it is folks, it's just a little biscuit. It's about, the, for the visually impaired, um, it's around the uh, two pound coin size and twice the thickness of a two pound coin. Is that a good uh, description people? Please let the visually impaired know. A bit in trip. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a, it's just a biscuit with a bit of chocolate in it, and that's all it is. It's, it's nothing. I mean, there isn't even that much chocolate. With the visually impaired, I'm holding the biscuit. I've bit it in half, and I'm holding it up to the camera, and um, the biscuit has been hollowed out inside to for the chocolate to go in but there is only uh the the, the a thing uh, the thickness of your uh fingernail that is in the um biscuit i bet the chocolate one i bet two chocolate ones um It's like there's some kind of chewy bit inside the chocolate. 
I think, yeah, all right. I've broken the biscuit in half. And if you can see, can you see folks? If I go out the camera, does that make, does it focus in better? You can see a, a milky centre underneath the chocolate. <clears throat> to be fair, it's quite pleasant. It is quite a nice chocolate. And, um... It's all right, to be fair. I'm trying to find a fault with it. Um, I think the ginger child is trying to empty the toilet. I think they're trying to empty the reservoir of water. Because that is about the third time in minutes that it's gone again. Until that child is actually paying bills, they will, know, will not know the cost of stuff. Um, so I'm going to move on to the uh, white chocolate biscuit with the milky centre. I'm expecting this to taste like uh, the milky bars are on me and that kind of thing. Um, is that at temperature yet? So, once again, I can't remember what they look like. Well, I'll tell you what, they, they're a size of um, a, a Swiss roll. That's what it is, a Swiss roll in a packet. Um, then, Cadbury's Swiss roll things that they get, the mini ones, mini Swiss rolls. I knew there was something there. So this biscuit is, uh, it's basically, right, so what they've done folks, if you like a lot of biscuit, uh, like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, get one of these. Uh, what they've done then, the, the brown ones, uh, the normal chocolate ones are, and this is like a chocolate biscuit. Um, it's, I don't know. Well, they've just done like a, a negative and a positive. You know, like you get a negative. Can you remember? I bet. I bet there's a lot of kids out there who can't even remember negative films. Uh, you used to go on holiday. I know Peter Kay's done this. Uh, you go on holiday. Uh, you take your pictures. You come back. You take them to the chemist or wherever, and then you get them developed. And then you go back like a week later, and they're there. But what he fails to mention is. In the front of the envelope that you get your letter, you get your letters, you get your postcode, you get your pictures in, there's a little pouch. And in there used to be the negatives. And if you wanted a copy of the picture, you had to give that back to the chemist and say, I want that one there. And they would do a copy of it. They were not always getting it on your computer and just printing it off or taking it down and photocopying your arse and then printing that off. It, you, it had to be done properly. Right, back to the biscuit. Um, they're all right. They're not the best, right? They're not, they're not the best, but you know what? Cadbury's have been turning out some rubbish just lately, t teaming up with other factions and stuff. There's not so much taste in that one. It's just basically biscuit. Can't really taste the white chocolate. Out of the two, out of the two, I prefer them ones. Um, mini stars, uh, the uh, mini chocolate biscuit with a milky centre. I prefer them. I think these ones lack as much flavour as the other ones. They're all right. They're ideal for Probably a kid, well, not ideal for a kid to pack a bit because you don't want them eating chocolates and biscuits at school. Biscuits at school. But they're all right for little pack-ups. 
They're all right for days out to Oldham Towers or or Twin Lakes or something like that. They're ideal for that. I wouldn't pay more than 99p. Well, I wouldn't pay a bar. I wouldn't buy them again anyway because they're not my kind of thing. Um, but they're all right. They're okay. They're steady. Uh, no doubt the ginger child will take some to. It's no good sitting there doing that because it's chocolate and you can't have it because you're a dog and chocolate kills dogs. Idiots. So, we'll leave that one there, folks. They're all right. They're quite nice. A lot for me, but I can see a lot of people enjoying them because they are, they're just a nice little nibble, right? And let's face it, we all like a nibble, don't we? I know I like a nibble now and again when I get a chance. All right, so we'll leave that one there, folks. Uh, get yourself down to home bargains for 99 pounds. You can't, were you coughing at dick? Right, um, you know what I mean, Wong? The chocolate, it'll kill you. Unbelievable. All right, folks, get your latest.